Whoa. Guys, wow. we got these tadpoles. Here, it has that, that walleye spine. Yeah. What's that? Who's out you with? You're trespassing. I heard these are good eating fish. Right? It smells. You got some uh, Canadian night crawlers here, guys. They're all dead and molded, so I'm not going to buy that. Ooh. That's why it smells. Oh, do you smell that? What are they doing in the worms, guys? What is that? Wax worms. Little larva. Oh. This might be the only. Yeah. All right. Cool. <laughs> Maybe that's why it's color coded red. Are we looking for movement? We're looking for movement. Basically, we want worms that are not dead. Those are our best for fish. Now guys, it's clear that this sign says, and it's without without any sort of, uh, <laughs> what's real important is wildlife health. When we look at look at the fish species that are within the lake, what we want to think about, and what we look at is, and what we want to think about is preserving wildlife health. Go ahead and smash that like and subscribe button, guys. We're really eco-friendly, eco-conscious. We want to promote clean wildlife uh, and healthy water. So go ahead and smash that button. Guys, we found a secret lake, so we're going to be pulling out the gear, seeing what we can hook up on. Uh, hopefully, we'll catch a carp. You know, um, what we want to do is make sure we're real mindful of the fact that this is a, uh, a private lake, guys. So we don't know if any of these people are going to come sprinting out of their houses at us. Um, so we're going to have to have our, our heads on a swivel here. So what happens if they do come sprinting at us? You know, act dumb. I know Tom, Tom lives uh, across the street. This is Tom's boat. Right. And then kind of just pause and look at them. That's what I would do. A couple of these berries. Oh. Saw someone gliding around on a golf cart. Oh, gotta be careful. Twelve people, fourteen people chilling alive out here looking for river monsters. Not sure what we're gonna find, but found a secret lake and a secret spot. I'm trying to get lined in. Oh god, guys! Focus. Guys, can't do it. Focus. Guys, what happened to all the snow crabs? I know pollution is a big problem these days. We're going with a real small hook just because we don't know what's in these waters, right? So we want to be able to catch whatever's in here as a little sample, right? So we're going to throw on one of these doodads, real tiny. Kind of looks like a tadpole, which could work well in here, seeing as how we just caught a few tadpoles.
Yeah, there's someone by our boat. Just raking these leaves and... And reporting you to the neighborhood watch. We're just trying to catch some fish, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> trying to catch some fish. Gosh. Guys, we're going to see if we can't hook up on a Nile perch or some type of fish that is super rare. That's really what we want to catch today. See that? These are red worms. Really good for catching just general fish, you know? Not specific. They look pretty alive to me. Yeah, what are these guys? What are these alien worms? Is that a secret fish, guys? Did you hear that? Holy Unbelievable. Nile River catfish, uh, as well as piranhas. So, how do you catch a piranha? Barehanded. Uh oh. We have a Karen situation. You can tell she's snitching. They're over there pretending to rake leaves. I don't know if you can see her over there, but looks like she's raking leaves. Yeah, but <laughs> if you look over here, see this down tree? You keep seeing some movement over here, so we're gonna take a take a cast. Yeah. There's a car coming. Looks like a dinosaur. All right, guys, we found a bunch of tadpoles. They're hanging out here. You can see them kicking up the mud. Look at that. Those are all tadpoles. Let's see if we can just freak them out a little bit. I really want one of these in my fish tank. That's that's gross, guys. Oh, my baby! Guys, wow. we got these tadpoles. We gotta get them back to camp. I don't we, want them to die. What do we do? We need to come back with some type of. Uh, Let's go get a container. Yeah, we need a container. All right. Here we all right, guys, we're gonna go transport these. That's probably- Can they be out of the water right Yeah, they, I mean, they're, they're gonna be frogs. <laughs> guys, let us know in the comments. Let us know what these are. How long can they go out of the water? Shh. Unbelievable, guys. Whole bunch of little minnows under here. And they keep flopping on the surface because a big predator fish is driving them against the bank. What we're trying to do is whoa. Why did you switch up your location? Right, I had a bite here initially when we came out. I took a few casts. So what we did was we returned to the scene of the crime got a line in the water, got another bite, what looked like a bluegill or potentially a crappie. Um, and we lost that fish as well, guys. So um, we can work on our hook sets 
uh, there's always room for improvement. Go ahead and smash that like and subscribe button. You got something on the line? Go ahead and smash that like and subscribe oh. button. Oh, we got something big, guys. Whoa. Guys, what's real important is wildlife health. Nice. Large mouth. Whoa. Look at that guy. Nice little bass. Guys, this is a smallmouth trout. Mm -hmm. So they're typically caught out here in the uh, in the Midwest region of the country. Um, here it has that, that walleye spine. Yeah. What's that? Who's out you with? Ah, uh, Tom's. Tom who? Tom Henderson. He's down the road. There's no Tom Henderson in this neighborhood. Uh, there is. What's that? I said there is. There's a Tom Henderson? Yeah. What house? Uh, it's at the end. 200. No. You're supposed to be parked at their house. Okay, I'm sorry. I can go can park at Tom Henderson's house. I'll go yeah, I'll go park there, I'm sorry. Oh What's that? You're trespassing. But there's not a Tom Henderson out here. That's it. There is. Meet up with uh yeah, we're we're gonna go move it. We know, we know, we're sorry. Okay. There's like a trust no trespassing sign like right there as soon as you got in your car. Noted. Guys, we got some Karen's. Got a Big Papa Karen, a Mama Karen, and then we got a Baby Karen in training. We brought the whole family, guys. They had a daughter in the car dressed in cat makeup. And we're saying we know everyone who lives on the lake. But what are the odds of that? You know everyone who lives on the lake? So I challenged it. I created a fictional character named Tom Henderson, based on a real character. Uh, we know a real Tom Henderson. And they kept saying, hey, we know there's no Tom Henderson. We're gonna follow you to Tom Henderson's house. Don't follow me, you know? <laughs> Tom gave me permission, I'm gonna come back with Tom.